Hello again. I'm Wilfred. And I'm Susan. And today we thought uh, we'd talk a little bit about the book. The physical book. The physical book. Yeah. i got to stop repeating everything <laughs> you say. Um, now, so many of you are at home. Perhaps you're turning to the Internet uh, more than you ever did before for buying rare, out-of-print, antiquarian, used, collectible uh, books, and you're looking at descriptions on the Internet. Or in dealer's catalogs. And you need to know what it is we talk about as professionals when we are looking at a book. So if we use a term, you have an idea of what that term refers to. So we thought we'd just take a couple of books and bring them out. Let's start with this one. Fairly nice copy of a secondhand book from the early 1900s, I think. Uh, here we have the, the, the book. That's the spine. The front cover, sometimes called the upper cover, but I like to say the front cover because it's much more descriptive. Here is the, the joint, the joint between the spine and the front cover and the back cover, sometimes referred to in more traditional dealer's catalogs as the lower cover. We have the top edge, which in this case is stained, is uh, gilded, so it's a gilt, top edge gilt, often referred to as TEG, top edge gilt. Or AEG if all edges are gilt. In this case, the, the fore edge, which is this here, is not being gilded, or the lower edge. We have the Top edge of the board, fore edge of the board, lower edge of the board. Now inside, let me hold it this way, it'll be easier to describe. We've got the, I'll hold it this way. This is the front paste down. This is the front free end paper, often abbreviated to FFEP, the front free end paper. And the inner. And, oh, thank you. The inner hinge. And this is the, 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 the inside of the joint, which is called the hinge. Remember, the hinge is the inside, the joint is the outside. You will sometimes see dealers who describe as the inner hinge and the outer hinge. They mean the hinge and the joint. They may not mm -hmm. really be great. Yeah, no, they may be just trying to be sure that, they, that, that they're the reader understood. And here's the rear, rear free end paper, rear paste down, and rear hinge. Then we have the title page. You've got here the title page, which gives the title, author, uh, the publisher's name, and in this case, handily, the date, so you know when the book was published. I think this is 1913. And this area is sometimes referred to as the imprint. The publisher's imprint, right. The publisher's yeah. imprint. Okay. It also has a full-color frontispiece. A frontispiece. Uh, frontispiece doesn't have to be in color. It just usually refers to a, an illustration, photograph, drawing, whatever, of um, opposite the title page. Right. And it's a separate piece on its own. On, on the verso of the title page, you'll sometimes find some more information, which is nothing. In this case, it's blank, because most of the information is already on the, on the title page. Did you want to talk about your... Other book? My book? Yes. All right. I've pulled out a, um, a leather binding. Um, in this case, it is called Morocco. That's because of the type of leather it is. You might also have calf, which is just looks like regular brown leather often. Um, or they will just say leather. That's done more and more often these days. They don't try and specify exactly what leather it is. Yeah. I think uh, I could interrupt by saying, here, I don't know if you can see it, but you just could see it when you held it in the light. The Morocco is grained. You see, it's not just smooth. Uh, while you're doing that, I'll see if I can find a calf binding. Okay. Um, in this case, you can see it's got these gilt lines. Gold. This is gold. Um, it is called ruling. So these are the gilt rules. These are gilt corner decorations. It also is lettered in gilt. Oops, I think I have it upside down. Sorry. Lettered in gilt on the spine with raised bands. If you look in the light carefully, you can see that they are above the, the main part of the spine proper. In this case, the top edge is stained red. 
The other two, fore edge and bottom edge, are not colored at all. Again, you have the turn ins, uh, which is where the leather has been turned in to make a nice smooth uh, edge. And the end papers are, in this case, marble. It covers the edge of the leather and where it's turned in. Did you find a nice calf? I, I, not, not quite exactly, but it does illustrate something that I did want to, to talk about, and that is when somebody, uh, when a, uh, someone's describing a book and they talk about uh, half leather or three-quarter leather, mm -hmm. um, here's a very good example of three-quarter leather, and in this case it's calf because you can see the calf nice is smooth. Smoothness. This is a three-quarter calf binding. Uh, you've got this, this the spine, full leather, coming around to the front and back boards, and then you've got the corners uh, in both cases, front and back. So that's a three-quarter binding, three-quarter leather binding. If it doesn't have the corners, it's called a half leather. I uh, should have been able to find one, but I couldn't. And I that. see something else that this one has that may often sometimes be referred to. At the very back of a book, if you have something in pocket at rear, here you can see there is something inserted into a pocket attached to the rear cover. So that's pocket at rear. Good choice. Yeah. Again, top edge gilt, gilt lettering on spine. Uh, this has an inscription on the front free end paper. Some people like inscriptions, some people don't. Yeah, Inscriptions can be handy, of course, for dating a book which doesn't have a date. They don't always have dates on the title page or on the verse or the title page. Now this one has only, this, this is the back of the title page. It's the copyright page usually referred to. This has a little bit of information. What does the other binding one have? Does that have a fuller information on it? Yes, it, it does. Okay. So just to get a little idea of what you can have on the back of the title page, you may or may not be able to read that this says verso. Uh, verso, the, the back side. Recto is the front side, verso is the back side. Uh, this one reads, first published 19, I don't have my glasses on. 1947. 1947. Usually that indicates that this is a first edition. Not always, yeah. but usually. Yeah, if the, if if it if it said first published nineteen forty seven and then reprinted nineteen forty eight and again in nineteen fifty two, that would indicate that it was a later printing just by definition. But that's something for a whole different, different subject. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, anything else we need? No, I think to we've say? gone on long enough this time. Okay. <laughs> Till next time. Oh, one other oh. thing. Just I just remembered. Uh, you will often hear something referred to as the head of the spine or the tail of the spine. That's the top and the bottom of the spine. Head of the spine, tail of the spine. Okay. I think that's it. All right, see you. See you next time.